a phone that started with Android KitKat, a phone that was launched in 2014, a phone that will never get any more updates. Now running Android 9 Pi, yes guys, I'm talking about OnePlus One. So with this room called Aero OS, now we have Android Pi. Hey guys, Nash here. So finally our favorite OnePlus One got Android Pi ROM with Aero OS. Thanks to awesome developers at XDA. So I installed this room and it's actually quite smooth room. Of course you get the pure Android Pi look almost everywhere with the new volume slider. So apart from Android Pi, you get this browser. So this is a private browser where address bar is at the bottom and not at the top. Pretty convenient I would say. But unfortunately, we don't have Android Pi recent menu. And honestly, I don't mind either. Actually, I prefer this recent menu than the Android Pi recent menu because it's really easy to navigate here. And there is no swipe up gestures or adaptive battery features. Maybe in the next update. The fact that OnePlus One was able to get Android Pi was enough for me to love this room. And as I said, this room is completely smooth. Like I didn't find any lag here or any bug. Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, everything is working okay. The RAM management is outstanding. Battery life is around 4 hours of screen on time considering my OnePlus One is 4 year old phone and I never replace the battery. So the default camera in this room is this EOSP camera. It's a nice camera but if you want to upgrade then you can install Gcam. So this room comes with the latest security of August 5 and this is how the home screen looked from very first boot. So hardware buttons and this on-screen buttons are working perfectly. Unfortunately, there is no button option in the setting menu so you can disable these on-screen buttons. But I don't mind that either. Again, I'm really happy that my OnePlus One got Android Pi. But if you really want to disable these on-screen buttons, then you can use ADB. Link for that will be of course in description box below. In notification drawer, you get this night light and invert colors. And in the setting menu, in the display settings, you get these three themes, light theme, dark theme, and of course the wallpaper based theme. So I tried dark theme and it's working without any problem. Overall, this is awesome work done by developers and you should really install this room. Installing this room is really easy. Just like any other room, all you need is ROM file and Android 9 gaps file. And you go to TWRP recovery and install this room. But if you still don't know how to install a custom ROM, I will drop a video in description box below. And if you appreciate my work on this channel, then please like this video. That is how you help this channel. And this is your friend Naya signing out. I will see you tomorrow. Ooh.